Last year, Ash and I had a Ben 10 trivia contest. We each picked 10 questions to ask the other, and every time someone would get one wrong, they'd have to take a bite of some super spicy chili. We chose chili because, you know, Ben 10. But this is no ordinary chili. This was designed to ensure it would not be pleasant the more you ate it. Not that the chili is disgusting, just really, really hot. We originally wanted to film our progress cooking it just to prove to each other and our audience that we were making the same thing, since Ash and I live on opposite sides of America, and also that we wouldn't be faking our reactions and there really is some spicy stuff in there. But it turned into this fun little video project that I hope you enjoy. But I figured we would do this like, like an old-timey like yeah. TV show thing where I'm like, Right. Good evening, Internet World and Universe. This is our Ash, and welcome. It's a Cooking with Ash video. We are going to be making some heat blasted chili that you may have seen in our previous uh, Ben 10 16th anniversary stream. Rob is cooking in this video too at some point, I think, but it's gonna taste decent, I think. And to help me today, here are some of my friends from a couple live streams that you guys may have may have seen before. Here we got Grace and Ignis. Hi. We're gonna be making my chili. We are then gonna be super spicing with stuff like ghost pepper, off-brand Texas sriracha, some awesome. spicy barbecue sauce. And let's light this fire. <laughs> so this part is totally optional. You can totally just buy your own bag of fries or whatever, but if you want to make your own fries, this is how I do it. First off, make sure you preheat your oven to 450. Get yourself a nice big old bag of potatoes. Please make sure to wash them appropriately too. Then you just cut them any which way works best for you. It doesn't really matter since it's all like, you know, food. I like to slice them decently thin just so they're sort of crispy. The thinner they are, the, the crunchier and crispier they'll be. But you don't want them too thin that they'll either just burn or turn into potato chips. Unless that's what you're going for. So now you're gonna want to take a baking sheet and cover it in tin foil. The tin foil is kind of optional, but it just makes things easier when things are done so the fries aren't sticking to the pan. Drizzle some oil all over that. Throw your fries on that. Make sure you spread them out evenly. Even more oil. And then some seasonings of your choice. Usually it's just standard salt and some pepper. But for the sake of the Pyronite fries, I am gonna add some red pepper flakes and some cumin, you know, to just give it some extra zest. And just make sure to really like get everything in there. Your hands are gonna feel kind of gross, but you know, it's worth it in the end. Just make sure the end result is as flat and pat down as it can be. Then just pop it in there on the bottom rack and set a timer for 20 minutes. So to start out your heat blasted chili, you're gonna need your vegetables. With that, you got yourself a yellow or white onion, purple onion for flavor, also some green and red bell peppers, and something that I do, I put mushrooms in my stuff. So basically, you're just gonna take each of these, mince them out as much as you can, as little as you can, so it works all together in your chili. Let's start with the jalapenos. Just chop them up however you think would be appropriate, you know, just slice them up, nothing fancy here. Once they're all good, just throw them in a bowl and set them aside, we're not gonna need them till the end. Next, you got your onions. Now here's a fun trick for cutting an onion. First thing you wanna do is cut the top off. And just make subtle indents so it's easy to peel. See, it's just coming right off now. It's okay if you peel off an extra layer. Then you're gonna wanna cut all the way across, but not too far down so it's still all connected like this. Should look a little something like this. Hope the camera's picking this up. Then do the same across. Again, don't cut all the way down. Start seeing the checkered pattern up in there. Lastly, you're gonna cut across from the top to the bottom, and they should just kind of fall off like cubes. Just like that. Pick this up from Gordon Ramsay himself. And do a little bit of extra cutting if you'd like. Same to the red one, por favor. Uh, when you're cutting, don't have your fingers out because that's a higher chance that you'll cut yourself. Have it, hold it with your knuckles, basically. But still be careful because that shit will still hurt. But make sure that you hold some white onions off to the side because good chili fries have fresh onion on, the, on the top. Peppers are pretty easy. You just cut the top off, cut it in half, cut out these inside bits, or leave them if you want. You know, you can eat them. Then just slice them up. Do the same to the red one. No, you're good. I or you'll die. That cut it. through that one. I told you. My hand was right here. Wait, these are self-sharpening knives. Here, get the brand. No, yeah, we're not sponsored. Stop. I bought pre-sliced mushrooms, so I only need to dice them just a little bit more than they already come. And voila, here's your veggies. Set that to a medium heat with some oil in the pan. I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. Half a cup? Well, a lot of veg. There you go. That should be fine. There you go. There's, there's some oil. And bombs away. If you spill a little bit, make sure to clean that up ASAP. It's always better to clean as you go than wait till the end. It just makes things easier. The best way to cook is to let things just sit on heat. Best way to make it taste good. Medium heat? Light heat? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. The fire pits of hell? Yes, thank you, Grace. It's going to be on a medium heat. Not too much salt, because whenever you put in the meat and everything later, uh, it's going to be way too powerful. Where does it come out of? What do you mean? Oh, my oh, God. God. Wait. i got to take the top off. <laughs> it's okay. I it's okay. You're not used to that. It's fine. I'm poor. I'm not used to these fancy things. You're taking people's tops off. Shut up. Nothing is coming out of this still. It's not open! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now once you get the actual seal off of it, thank you, Grace, and your fucking fancy pepper. <laughs> your pepper! Ooh, look at the onions. Look at them. Look at them. Ignis wants to be in this so badly. I do, but at the same time. No, I know. <laughs> Talking about me wanting to be famous and you're over here? Look. Uh, you're gonna have a very colorful mix of just vegetable mush by the time this is done cooking. And because we don't have to chop anything else at the moment, we're actually gonna turn the heat up just a little bit so it speeds up the process. Our timer just went off, so let's check those fries. Eh, honestly, they can use a little bit more time. Going back in for another 10 minutes. Honestly, it looks more so like barf, but they say this looks beautiful on the cooking so channel. Delicious. Yeah, it's no, very, dude. honestly, in camera does not the vividness. This is what we call an upchuck stew. Make sure you're mixing your veggies around every couple of minutes too, so it cooks evenly. Fries are about done, but I'm just gonna turn the oven off, but not take them out yet, just so that they can stay warm until we need them. Hey, Ignis, can you give me the meat, please? Coming. You're asking for Ignis's meat? Shut the fuck. All right, so once the veggies are decently cooked, you're gonna spread them all to the edge of the pan. Slap your meat in. Make sure to really chop. We have garlic powder and onion powder. You don't gotta be too gentle with it, because we're gonna be adding stock, beans, and a bunch of other stuff. You want to keep chopping away at the meat because if you look right here, still got a little bit of pink. It is not fully cooked. You want that fully cooked before you start putting your beans in. You're going to take whatever your tomato, chili, whatever that you have is. I just have a can of seasoned diced tomatoes. It smells really good actually. It's so good. You mix that up a little bit and then from here, we are going to turn the heat up a bit more. Not too much though because this is a flame stove. Then we are going to add in some beef stock, beef broth, beef stock, whatever the word is. You're gonna want the, the liquid level to be just over all your meat and vegetables. Mix it up again. We're gonna pop a top on it and let it simmer and stew for like five, six minutes. Soon after. After that, we're gonna start adding the beef. Yes. Now that we got the beans in, we're gonna start mixing those up and then doing the most painful part. We are going to start adding the spices. Yo, see what I want, what I really, really want. All the spicy shit that we're gonna be putting in it. I eat spicy food a lot, but the amount that we're gonna be putting in this chili, there's a reason it's for a punishment. The, the time this video comes out, you guys would have already seen the stream. If you haven't, make sure you go watch the VOD. It's, it's probably fun. I really hope I didn't lose because this is going to hurt me. First thing that we are going to be doing is adding in some spices to dilute into the sauce of the chili. The first one is actually not a spicy spice. It is called ancho chili. I love ancho chili. It's a very sweet chili, really good for flavor. I put it in almost every chili that I make. Then we're going to start adding the painful things. Cayenne pepper powder. Make sure you don't breathe in when you're doing this or else you could have bloody snot. Oh God, it's sizzling already. We're going to mix that in pretty well. Next, we're going to be putting in off-brand sriracha. Mix it in real good. Uh, you take a little bit of barbecue sauce. My personal favorite, Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy. This one, if y'all want to sponsor us, please do. I love this shit. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. Please sponsor us. Miss, Mr. Baby Ray, please. <laughs> We're going to be doing quite a bit of barbecue sauce. <sighs> and then the most painful one, ghost pepper condiment. You know, but uh, uh, I like ghost pepper. I actually eat this sauce pretty regularly. So I have a bit of a tolerance for ghost pepper. If I eat too much, it does hurt quite a bit. And for a great example of that, Mr. Ignis. So to show how painful this is, I'm going to have Ignis try a little bit. I hate you with all of my being. I want you to understand this. How bad is it? How bad is it? We're gonna start putting this in while he's in pain. <coughs> we are going to sit and let this just stew and simmer for I'd say like probably 10 or so minutes, letting it work down, make it not as liquidy. That's it for the chili. Everything else spicy that we're gonna be putting on it are like all the accoutrements such as the sliced jalapenos. And then we're actually gonna be also putting a three pepper Colby Jack on there. That's pretty, pretty fucking spicy, but I like it. Ignis, how you doing over there, bud? It's in my eyes. <laughs> So that is it 
for our heat blasted chili. So when serving this, we're gonna be doing a couple scoops of this on top of some fries with some fresh minced onions, a couple of pickled or fresh sliced jalapenos for a little extra spice, and then an even more spice, because if you're doing chili fries, you need to have cheese on it. We got three pepper Colby Jack cheese. I love this cheese. Oh, fuck. No, that was good. That's good. Rob, cut that out. Anyway, I can't try the chili right now, unfortunately, because I want to have a genuine reaction on stream tomorrow if and probably when I lose. So, as a little taste test, we're going to have our helpers Grace and Ignis trying it. Hey, guys. Hi. How good of a friend am I to you? Is this supposed to make my flight or flight response trigger? Oh, our ashes heat blasted chili. Oh, no. Now, you can't see their faces. But this is gonna fucking hurt though. I love you guys. It was nice to know y'all. Mm. Mm, like yeah? Good. Oh no. Mm. <laughs> no, this is good. I mean, it's is good. It, is it spicy? Mm hmm. Oh, it's definitely spicy. Oh, it burns so good. Oh man. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's really bad. It's bad. Well, that's gonna do it from, I guess, Grace's Kitchen, Orash Cooking. Oh no, I love it. Ignis is a little <laughs> bitch. Excuse you. Absolute little bitch. This was delicious. I love you. this. This is, this is so hot and I love it so much. This My mouth is, is on delicious. fire in the best way. Shut up, Grace. One hour later. All right, so this is like an hour after we filmed <laughs> and <laughs> the spice wasn't hitting them at first, but <laughs> now My it head is. Hurts. <laughs> I don't want to die. Grace, how you doing? You uh, you puked a little bit earlier, right? Or almost? We were making jokes. Oh, it's not gonna be that bad because me and him, we love spice. We're like, it won't really be punishment, chili. It'll it'll burn more coming in than going out. It hurts. This, this isn't this isn't this isn't fun anymore. This is new. I'm not I'm not having I'm not having fun anymore. I'm not having fun. <laughs> well, I don't even. Have to I can't touch my face. I can't even. I don't even have to shake. Okay. This hurts. Thank you guys. The next day. Uh, I got some buffalo wing hot sauce cheddar. Got some fresh sliced jalapenos. Presentation okay. is everything. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, my, si my, my sinuses nose. are already all out of whack. Mm -hmm. This is Your so turn. delicious and torturous. Hurts like hell, but it's good. <coughs> <coughs> I'm starting to become numb to it, but also it burns. It's like all I feel is pain. I don't feel flavor anymore. No, same. I've only taken two bites. I've eaten like this whole section a little bit. I'm literally sweating. Sweats. Um, <laughs> Sweats. I'm getting the chili. God. I just felt a whole jalapeno slice. <laughs> My lips hurt. Oh, God. God. That had like five jalapenos on it. I'm literally down. crying. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. If you want to see how this trivia contest plays out in full and who ended up winning, check out our Ben 10 16th anniversary stream, guest starring Tara Strong and Greg Sipes, over on our channel. I hope you all have a great weekend. And as always, keep it fizzy.